Great work of the thinkers. The thinkers played a great role in performing American Revolution. John Locke Milton. Thomas Penn of England. Montesquieu. Voltaire. Rousey. Samuel. Adams. Benjamin Franklin. Thomas Jefferson. George Mason, etc., of America made great impact on the people of America by asserting natural rights of mankind and freedom of man and created a great background for the American Freedom War. Thomas Penn, an impact of his writings. Thomas Penn, the revolutionary thinker of England, expressed his revolutionary thoughts in his books, Common Sense and Rights of Man. He expressed that king's power is not godly. The king becomes dictator when there is unlimited power in his hand. Thomas was always against of the rule of a king and his kingdom. King is a crafty man with crown, he always asserted. Thomas Penn was the first thinker in the world asserting about human rights in the world history. He made scientific interpretation of human rights in his book, Rights of Man. He said that the origin of human rights in the nature and people should form a government to protect human rights. There should not be monopoly to form government because in doing so there is no need of heredity. People who loved freedom took inspiration from this book. George Washington, 1732 A.D. to 1799 A.D. George Washington was a great landlord of Virginia. He had taken an active part in the Seven Years' War as well as the wars with French and the Red Indians. He was appointed as the chief of Army of the Colonies composite troops. He was the leader of the American He was the leader of the American Freedom War and became the first president of USA. He politely denied to He politely denied to become president of USA for the third time after becoming the same for two times consecutively. He developed judiciary and economic system of America, a powerful country in the world. It is said that he was the first in the war activities the first in peaceful America and also the first in the hearts of the citizens of America. Points to remember Italian sailor Amerigo Vespucci discovered America in 16th century. England established 13 colonies in America. Virginia, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. The Seven Year War fought between England and France. France was defeated. The war ended with Paris Treaty. The British Parliament imposed tax on the colony. Sugar Act, Stamp Act, Currency Act, Billeting Act, Declaratory Act, Townshend Act, Slaughter at Boston, Boston Tea Party, First Conference of the Colonies at Philadelphia, George Washington appointed as the Military General of Composite Troops at the Second Conference of Philadelphia, Manifesto of American War of Liberty was declared by Thomas Jefferson at the Philadelphia Colonies Third Conference. Lord Convolus of Britain surrendered at Yorktown and the American War of Liberty ended. America's United States of America came into being independently. George Washington, America's first president. Thomas Penn wrote, Common Sense and Rights of Man. C. French Revolution The French Revolution was an epoch-making event of the 18th century. 
France was among the intellectually and economically advanced countries of Europe in the 18th century. During the reign of Bourbon monarch Louis XIV, France was at the height of her glory. French capital Paris had become the cultural center of Europe. Europe was then profoundly influenced by the French thinkers and their philosophy. Within 75 years of Louis XIV's death, however, France lost its glory. The year 1789 witnessed a great upheaval in France. The masses revolted against the French monarchy and brought about his downfall. This political upheaval is known as the French Revolution. The French Revolution is not only a great event in the history of Europe, but the most significant event in the history of the human civilization. The revolution abolished the absolute monarchy of France. It also destroyed the inherent rights of the priests, clergies and nobles. The great principles of liberty, equality and fraternity were accepted by the world. Let us study the causes of emergence and the consequences of French Revolution on the world in detail. The Constitution of France Louis XVI pleaded for assistance to some of the European kings. The king, queen and their prince were caught by the masses when they were trying to run away in disguise to another country. The king and his family was kept in confinement. France was declared as Republic State on 22nd September 1792. The king was guillotined on 21st January 1793. The most ferocious reign of terror started in France after that incident. Judicial System in France the judicial system was also based on inequality. The codes of law differed from province to province. The principles of jurisprudence also differed from one social class to another. The judicial spheres were not combined. There were more than 360 legislative statutes at the same time. There was chaotic situation in judicial field. This chaos resulted in resentment of the common people. Voltaire had rightly said about the judicial system of France that the people of France had to alter the laws as one changes horses in his journey from one end to another in France. It was but natural that the common man in France resented this all-pervading social inequality. This discontent of the masses finally expressed itself in the form of a powerful revolt in 1789. France on the Eve of Revolution The French Revolution is regarded as the starting point of history of modern world. During the period between the death of Louis XIV and 1789, there was enormous growth in population, trade and territorial boundaries of France. In spite of affluence, France was dominated by several social inequalities. The French Revolution was outwardly a revolt against a monarchy, but the aim of bringing about social equality was the underlying inspiration. Along with the unsatisfactory political state of France, the social economical and intellectual factors are also very important causes of the French Revolution. We have to consider these fundamental causes of French Revolution. The tax system in France. The extreme disparity was the speciality of the then French society. The clergy and nobles were exempted from the most taxes in spite of having a large income. On the other hand, the poverty-stricken common people had to pay more than half of their income in the form of the taxes. The common people were exploited under the tax system. 
they had to pay various taxes like tit, salt tax, tally. Apart from this, they had to take special care of the king, clergy and nobles for the favor. They were treated as born laborers. Carlyle, the historian, described the life of the people like this. Nine-tenth of the French population died of hunger and one-tenth of indigestion. French Revolution had affected the world politics. The ancient feudalism was uprooted from Europe. The people understood that the absolute monarchy is illegitimate and it can be uprooted. This philosophy made many countries pro-democratic. The principle of sovereignty became the important principle of modern social life. The revolution had given the value, structure of liberty, equality, fraternity, constitutionalism and democracy. The French Revolution had also inspired many nations for their independence and many societies for liberation from servility. The revolutionary message of social equality motivated humanism and socialism in future. The revolution started the age of nationalism. The French Revolution had radically changed the world's psyche and hence it is considered as an epoch. The French Revolution was engineered by the members of the Third Estate. The Third Estate was not a homogeneous group. It consisted of merchants, lawyers, doctors, teachers, craftsmen, government employees, farmers and serfs. These were the people who were the real architects of France's prosperity. They were responsible for the intellectual and cultural glory of France. The food production of the country depended greatly on them. In spite of this, they were compelled to pay taxes which led to their miserable condition. The French thinkers, especially Montesquieu, Voltaire and Rousey, awakened the masses against the social injustice. Montesquieu, 1689 till 1755. Montesquieu was born in the family of nobles. He was a lawyer by profession. After the comparative study of British and French judiciary, he wrote The Spirit of the Laws. According to him, the legislative, executive and judicial powers should be separated. This separation of powers would guarantee freedom, equality and protection of life and property. He protested against the absolute monarchy. He was deeply influenced by British administrative system as it was a fine synthesis of excellences of monarchy, democracy and feudalism. He emphasized the need of changing the absolute and faulty monarchy. His ideas deeply influenced the intelligentsia of France. America has accepted his theory of separation of power. Voltaire 1694-1778 till 1778. Voltaire was a well-known writer and philosopher. He was known for his satirical writings. His philosophy influenced the people. He wrote the famous book entitled Candid. He was not the proponent of the democracy, but he was a very staunch proponent of individual liberty. He also supported monarchy. The rule of one lion is even better than hundred rats. Volatile criticized French monarchy, selfish clergy and nobles through his plays, poems, history and biography. Therefore, he was exiled from France. His thoughts motivated the people to revolt against the injustice and tyranny. Rousey, 
1712 till 1778. Rousey was born at Geneva. For his livelihood, he started to work as private secretary, musician, and watch repairer. He was a great writer. Rousey is regarded as a pioneer of French Revolution. His books, Social Contract and Emily, became immensely popular. He expressed his political thoughts in his book Social Contract. Man is born free, but later he finds himself in all kinds of bondage. As man moves away from the state of nature, he is subjected to more and more restrictions. For a stable social life, some restrictions are essential. The society willingly accepts them, with a view to ensure self-discipline in this regard. The society creates a political state. Thus, the state is not a divine creation, but is the outcome of a sort of unwritten social contract. By implication, it means that if the state fail to abide by the terms of the contract, the people have a natural and moral right to overthrow the state authority. Rousey proclaimed the three popular principles of democracy. Liberty, equality, and fraternity. Napoleon Bonaparte had rightly remarked, "Without Rousey, the French Revolution would not have taken place." This explains the philosophy of Rousey motivated the French revolutionaries. Effects of the Revolution. The French Revolution overthrew the absolute monarchy of France. Feudalism disappeared forever. The principles of republicanism took deep roots in France. France was conferred upon with the liberty by the republic. There was the beginning of a new age of equality. France attained the new vigor as a result of the principles of nationalism. There was overall transformation not only in political field but also the social life of France after revolution. There was economical stability, industrial growth, national integration, social equality, religious tolerance, improved status, public education system, etc. The rise of Napoleon Bonaparte in French politics is considered as a significant incident. of french revolution he is regarded as an offspring of the revolution efforts to improve the conditions louis 16th was crowned as the french monarch in 1774 a man of character he was kind and well wisher of his people but was incapable to action he could form his own opinions he had read rousey he also had honestly tried to improve the condition in france he did his best to bring france out of the financial mess with the help of turgot necker and kelum his finance ministers they opined that it would not be possible to increase the revenue of france unless the nobles were made to pay the taxes the king convened a meeting of the nobles and put before them the difficulties the country would face if the proposal was not accepted the nobles however were adamant and refused to accept the levy of taxes and any curtailment in their privileges finally louis 16th was thus compelled to convene the estate general a representative body of all the three classes in France the state general was being summoned after a lapse of nearly 175 years declaration of human rights on 12th august 1789 the national assembly declared the manifesto of rights of man it was greatly inspired by the declaration of american independence and philosophy of rousey the people were assured of liberty equality and fraternity the principles like protection of fundamental rights freedom of speech 
personal property, resistance to oppression, control of masses on economy, sovereignty were accepted unanimously. Social Structure French Revolution was a struggle for the social equality. France was divided into three classes, the first estate, the second estate and the third estate. The social structure of these estates was like strata. First estate. The first estate consisted of clergies. It was again subdivided into higher and lower clergies. The higher clergy was very prosperous class. They were holders of the land. They received a tax named tithe from the layman. The clergy enjoyed several privileges and political and economical concessions. They were exempted from the taxes. They were not interested in meditation and religious awareness. They intervened into politics. The higher priests had become pleasure-loving. But the condition of the lower clergy was no better than that of the peasants. Second Estate the second privileged class was that of nobles. They were in possession of a large part of land. They were entitled to enjoy political and economical privileges and concessions. They were free from taxes. They were benefited by political military and judicial posts on hereditary basis. They were governed by a set of laws separate from those meant for the members of the third estate. Luxury and pleasure were the main features of their life. Third Estate The third estate consisted of the common people. The third estate was subdivided into three classes. The middle class included teachers, lawyers, doctors, writers, artists, government employees, merchants, etc. This class was well educated. The financial condition was good. In spite of good financial condition and quality, this class was deprived of prestige and higher posts in the administration. This class raised its voice against monarchy to get prestige and their rights. The third estate included a large number of farmers and serfs. Their condition was very miserable. They were cruelly crushed. The farmers and peasants had to work as bonded laborers. They had to pay heavy taxes. The lower middle class of peasants were considered as inferior class in the third estate. The burden of taxation rested most heavily on them. They were deprived of many privileges. The common people of third estate were compelled to pay one-tenth of their income as tith tax to the clergy, crown tax to the king, tally tax on property, wage arm tax, income tax, etc. The clergy engaged in religious work, the nobles were on war front and the common people paid the taxes. This was the social structure of 18th century France. The Estate General and the Tennis Court Oath The members of the third estate suggested that the representatives of all the three estates should sit and vote together in view of the serious financial crisis. The representatives of the first two estates opposed the suggestion as they thought that it would lower their social and political prestige. The king sided with the first two estates and turned down the proposal for a joint session. The representatives of the third estate left the parliament. The hall was subsequently cordoned off by the royal army. The enraged representatives of the third estate assembled on the tennis court near the royal palace and claimed that they alone were true representatives of the people. They declared themselves as National Assembly and took a solemn oath to remain united till people's sovereignty was established. 
This was the beginning of an open confrontation between the feudal power and the common people in France. The king sent orders to leave the hall. Mirabu, their leader, gave a befitting reply. Nothing but bayonet could disperse them as they were thereby the will of the people. Upon this, the king did not take any action against the commons. This was a landmark success in the history of the third estate. Meanwhile, some of the representatives from higher class joined the lower class. The air of revolution reached the army too. The king had no assurance of the loyalty of his followers. Finally, King Louis XVI gave his consent for the combined National Assembly. The people took it as their first triumph over monarchy. These events were taking place at Versailles. The Fall of Bastille The new National Assembly raised civil guards to protect themselves under the command of Lafayette. The National Assembly made many improvements. The king secretly attempted to destroy the National Assembly. The rumors of arrest of the leaders of National Assembly spread in Paris, which made the mob very furious. This mob became rebellious. It made the desperate resolve to attack the fort of Bastille. Accordingly, the people attacked the Bastille on 14 July and captured the bulk of ammunition and freed all the prisoners. Bastille was a symbol of absolute monarchy, social inequality and injustice. The fall of Bastille became a symbol of liberty. This was the first violent incident in the course of French Revolution. Therefore, 14th July is celebrated as National Day in France. The Reign of Terror The Reign of Terror continued for about one and a half years from 1793 to 1795. The first year was marked by terrorism of the extremist leaders. Thousands of innocent sympathizers of the revolution were beheaded by Robespierre merely on suspicion. People at last wary of this bloodshed arrested Robespierre on 28 July 1794 and put him to death under the guillotine. The leadership of the revolution gradually slipped into the hands of military. Napoleon Bonaparte, an intelligent, efficient and an ambitious general, shortly crowned himself as the emperor bringing the French Republic to an end on 18th May 1804. The Works of National Assembly After the fall of Bastille, the discontent increased among the common people about clergy and nobles. As a result, the clergy and nobles abjured the traditional privileges on 4th August 1789. The National Assembly abolished the bonded labor. It cancelled the taxes which were paid to clergy and nobles. It annulled the age-old feudalism. Therefore, 4th August became Social Revolution Day of France. Important persons, Louis XIV, an efficient king in Bourbon family, Montesquieu, Montesquieu, political thinker, philosopher presented the theory of separation of power, Voltaire, satiric and ironic writing, pioneer of individual freedom, he was exiled from France, Rousey, Prophet of French Revolution proclaimed the principles of liberty, equally and fraternity. Turgot, Necker, Callum, the financial ministers in Louis XVI's regime. Mirabeau, the representative of the third estate, the historical tennis court oaths was taken under his leadership. Louis XVI, 
uncontrolled king of Bourbon family during French Revolution, tried to improve economical condition of France. He was beheaded on Gulliton as he tried to suppress revolution. Robespierre, he led the extremist party of the Jacobins. He massacred thousands of revolutionaries on mere suspicion. Finally, he was also beheaded on Gulliton. Napoleon Bonaparte demolished the French Republic and declared himself as French Emperor. The March of Women The King Louis XVI attempted to pressurize the revolution. The King's Act made the people furious. Thousands of women marched to the Palace of Versailles on 5th October 1789. Some disguised men joined the procession. The furious mob imprisoned the king, queen and their son and brought them to Paris and they were kept under house arrest. This event is called as funeral procession of Bourbon monarchy. The people were saying that, We have caught the baker, his wife and son. Now we can get enough bread. Mary Antoinette Mary Antoinette was responsible for the unsatisfactory administration of Louis XVI. She was the princess of Austria. She spent huge amount of money in purchasing luxurious articles. She emptied the French treasury. So she gained the nickname of Madame Deficit. When the march of the people went to the palace of Versailles, Demanding bread, Maria Antoinette very rudely said, Eat cake if you don't get bread, or else eat butter if not cake. This forced the people to revolt. Important Point France was at the height of her glory during the reign of Bourbon King Louis XIV, 1774. France had to witness anarchy during the reign of King Louis XVI. The king, clergy, nobles occupied the important posts in administration, military and judiciary. They were exempted from the tax payment. The common people were deprived of many rights. They had to pay unfair taxes. Montesquieu, Montesquieu Voltaire and Rousey brought about intellectual awareness. Louis XVI tried to improve the condition. He convened a meeting of Estate General, 5th May 1789. As the proposal of joint session of Third Estate was turned down, the representatives took an oath on tennis court to establish sovereignty. 20th June 1789. The masses attacked the prison of Bastille symbolizing injustice, 14 July 1789. National Assembly obliterated feudalism by resolution, 4th August 1789. National Assembly declared the Human Rights Manifesto, 12th August 1789. National Assembly formed the new constitution, 14 September 1789. French King Louis XVI was dethroned, 10th August 1792 Establishment of French Republic 29th September 1792 Administration of National Assembly 1792 to 1795 Reign of Terror 1793 to 1794 Louis XVI was beheaded on Gulliton 21st Jan 1793 Robespierre was sentenced to death, 28 July 1794. National Convention was dissolved and the new constitution was accepted. The Directory began its administration according to new constitution, 1795 to 1799. Napoleon Bonaparte became the Emperor of France, 18 May 1804.